Whether you're an MMA fighter or you just wanna train like one, I've got a circuit, a workout that will improve your punching endurance and give you that knockout shot that you need in the last round. It is a six exercise circuit. It's done on a Tabata protocol, which means you're gonna do each one for 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and you're gonna chop these down one after the other in a circuit fashion. You need medicine balls, you need kettlebells, and you need some bands. So if you, if you don't have the equipment, come on down to Long Beach and train with me or make the investment. But we got some push-up variations, fan punching, plank variations, and kettlebells to finish. One of my students, Jerrica, has a fight coming up. She's a little, little under two weeks out. She's gonna run through this a total of four times. By the time you get through with all six of these, your triceps and your punching muscles are gonna be shocked and shot. Okay? If you can just make one round, great. She's gonna go through four of them. And I want her last round to look like her first round. I filmed them all. Here's the first round. Here's the last round. Check them out. Let me know what you think. And she, I think she stays pretty spicy all the way through. So punching endurance. Here we go. First up is the medicine ball push off in which one hand is on a solid med ball and one hand is on the floor. Do a push up and launch the other hand completely off the ground, locking out the arm that's on the med ball. Take note of what kind of a med ball we're using here. It's a solid round one, which is different than the next exercise. So a push up and then a push off on the very top, locking out the hand that's on the ball. 10 seconds break in between exercises. And second, notice the med ball we're using here. It's a little more squishy, a little more forgiving on the wrist. And we got medicine ball, Randy Couture, lateral push-ups. If they look a little short on the push portion, that's because they're supposed to be. You want these to be just on the end of the lockout there, the last six inches right before the lockout. So don't go down all the way on the push-up. These are supposed to be quick, side to side, explosively, only going into about a quarter push-up. The knees can be bent a little bit. Third up is the band punching. The arms are already a little hot and saucy from those first two. This third exercise, you're gonna load the bands, get in a punching stance, and let loose for 20 seconds. You wanna add speed here, you wanna get your footwork in, find a stance, find a rhythm, and just go, 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 go for 20 seconds. As hard, as fast as you can, well balanced, well timed. Build some punching speed here under this fatigue. 20 seconds work, now take 10 seconds off. We're gonna throw a shocker in there now, a plyometric exercise. So the muscles are already a little hot and burning. Now we're gonna go to the plyometric exercise. I call these depth jumps, but for a simpler term, we're gonna call them plyo planks. She's gonna explosively go from the high plank to a little spot we've got in between these boards and right back up. And she's gonna pretty much stay in the lockout. There's no push up here. It's quick down, quick up. Imagine like there's hot coals on the floor. And as soon as you hit, you're right up out of there. That's four down. The last two exercises are kettlebell exercises. We're gonna get one pushing movement in. It's the alternating press first. I'm gonna let her dip her legs a little bit and alternate the overhead pressing here. 20 seconds work here. This is the fifth exercise. Arms are already a little shot, so I definitely want you to use your legs to help power the bells above the head. Kind of a push press, kind of an alternating press. Bam. 10 seconds rest and we got one more to go. We saved the best for last and I try to end the round with worst case scenario. So here's the end of it, alternating cleans, pummeling, uppercutting, working. There's cardio, there's biceps, there's punching. Keep moving those bells, do not slow down. Go, 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 go. Legs are in there too. Strong conditioning. This one at the end of the circuit is just brutal. You're already tired and then here comes this beast. One round down. Now here we are all the way at the end of the fourth round and cameraman screwed up, missed the first exercise. So we're just gonna go right to these Randy Couture lateral push-ups. I actually got these from watching a Randy Couture training video and picked these up. And they looked a little bit odd, but once I got the explanation to them, I started to add them in a lot. Band punching, these need to stay fast in the last round. You're four rounds in, your arms are tired. Don't let these get sloppy and slow. Take your best dance and speed punching, speed punching, speed punching, speed punching. Once you get your stance, she'll start ramping her speed up and start moving those bands. This is four rounds in. So I'm trying to get it to look as much like the first round as we can. Despite all the cardio, despite all the arm fatigue. Here we go, here we go. Now she's picking it up. 10 seconds off. We go into those plyo planks. Give the muscle a little shock. 
And you can really use anything for this. I've used Bulgarian bags, wooden planks. I've used the step aerobic steps. It's whatever you got that can give you just a little bit of jump from high plank to the little center position. 20 seconds work, stay fast. Hot coals on the floor. Do not get slow on that. And that's four for her today. She's done with that. Let's move on to the kettlebells now. So we got four big ones done. The last two are kettlebell drills. One push, one pull. And alternating press. I'm gonna let her dip her legs a little bit because her arms are fried. Here's where we build some of that punching endurance. Most people's arms would just be shot by now. Wouldn't be able to lift them up. And she's still throwing pushes. She's still throwing punches. No doubt this is gonna carry over to her fight. And she's gonna have some shots left in the last round. Final exercise here, alternating cleans. And this is not nice to do. This is the path definitely less chosen. But the people that will go through these workouts and put like the hardest exercise last and do it when they're fatigued and still find energy to put everything into it tend to be a little more successful come playtime. Alternating cleans is the last exercise. Cardio, biceps, legs, forearms, shoulders, everything is in there. Finish strong. Okay, after we're done with the punching circuit, Jerrica has insane endurance. When she comes to the gym, it's on. I need to be literally at my best. So you would think that'd be enough and the arms would be fried. Trust me, this girl's gonna do this and she's gonna go spar afterwards. We're gonna do some unconventional conditioning after her punching circuit that involves some hammers, sleds, Bulgarian bags, convertibles. This is rough. And uh, I'm willing to bet she's gonna smash all the way through it with no break. Uh, here we go, check it out. Ten seconds. Hit hard. Hit hard. Smash. Smash. Power shots here. Five seconds. Power. Power. Three, two, one. Sled. Now right here you'll notice there's no weight on the sled actually, but there was something about this matting that just, it was so rough without any weight on it. I mean, if you added anything to it, it'd have to be super light because the friction was just unbearable. You could barely get it moving even with a little bit of weight on there. So I decided to go weightless and have her do a, a full lap back and back forth. Uh, one dragging backwards, one dragging forward. Like and even with no weight, everything. there was enough friction to really make these work. No so I know it looks kind of weird, but this, this was enough weight just with the friction itself. Nice. Now after the sled, after the hammer, so we got beat up shoulders, we got shot arms, and we got burning legs, and our heart rate's up. We're going to spin this Bulgarian bag 10 times in each direction. And I try to simulate what the end of a, a round is going to feel like in the worst case scenario. So let's say her heart rate's up. Let's say her limbs are burning. She still has to rotate and work. Quick, 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 quick. Right off the wall, right off the wall, right off the wall, right off the wall. Right off the wall. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. 